Good morning, everyone. Oh. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> um, buenos dias. Bienvenidos to the Berea High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. Friends, family, thank you for taking the time to come out and support your graduate. Additionally, it is a great pleasure that we welcome Deputy Superintendent, Mr. Philip Davey, and school board members, Ms. Debbie Bush, Dr. Ann Presley, and Mr. Chuck Sailors. Of course, no thank you can be complete without acknowledging the hard work and dedication of parents, administrators, friends, and family. So throughout our, our four years here at Berea High School, I'd like to say thank you for everything y todo lo que han hecho por nosotros. The past four years have been a crucial period in all of our lives. From freshman year when COVID sent us straight to e-learning to making up seat time for the day, senioritis caught up to us and I'm one of those. This class has hustled and pulled through no matter what. I know many of us didn't have the privilege to focus solely on school during our four years here. Some of us with maybe handling two jobs, taking care of a couple siblings, being a third parent when our parents couldn't be there for our families. And so I would like to say congratulations, class of 2023. Si se pudo. Now, vamos a comenzar. It will begin, so prepare for our Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Hello, good morning. This year's theme for graduation is, I'm here to spread a message of hope. Follow your heart, don't follow what you've been told you're supposed to do, J. Cole. The class of 2023 picked this quote because many of us can relate to people telling us how our lives are going to be, instead of asking us what we want our lives to be. Many said we wouldn't make it or that we should just give up and continue the generational curse. But we said no. Instead, we decided to follow our hearts and pick our own future, our own destiny. May the class of 2023 be successful in following their heart. Thank you. Throughout the past four years, 
these two individuals have demonstrated their capability within their character as well as their academics. It's been an honor to see them grow since middle school into the successful individuals they are today. Please join me in welcoming salutatorian Kayla Hong and valedictorian Luis Gonzalez Gonzalez. Principal Noel, Mr. Philip Davey, members of the school board, families, friends, and teachers. Thank you for coming here today to celebrate the class of 2023's graduation from Berea High School. And congratulations to my fellow graduates. Let's have a round of applause for our graduating class. It is an honor today to be standing before you as your salutatorian on this memorable occasion. To start, I want to acknowledge and thank the faculty and staff for providing us with the resources that have contributed to our academic education. We appreciate your perseverance throughout these four years, and we would not have been able to graduate today without your support. Secondly, I want to dedicate today's accomplishment to my family. To my immigrant parents, I want to thank you for giving me the life you never had, the life that you sacrificed everything for. Their hardships began before they arrived in this country almost 30 years ago, for they had fled their home country upon a diminutive vessel and across a vast body of water for days on end. Their sole motivation and purpose for doing so was to give their children a better life even though they were not guaranteed a straightforward path to the American dream. They took a risk, leaving behind everything they had in Vietnam, stability, family, and their roots. However, as my parents battled the language barrier, discrimination, and hours of rigorous labor, they simply knew that their sacrifices would pay off for their future, for me. Of course, I could not forget to acknowledge my father's commitment to my education. When I would struggle with simple math equations in elementary school, my dad would spend restless nights helping me comprehend each mathematical concept. As bothersome as it was, he was willing to do whatever it took to help me learn. He sacrificed his rest just to help his daughter become a great student just as he sacrificed his life to travel across the globe for the future of his children. Likewise, I also want to recognize my mother for her selflessness and generosity. Even after long hours of work and with the scarce amount of money we had, my mom never failed to put food on the table. She always made sure that our stomachs were full before we went to bed every night. And when there were times of uncertainty and doubt, my mom would never let it be known to any of her children. She always appeared to be happy and positive, regardless of our financial and emotional situation. I am so grateful to be considered Fu Huang and Ying Wen's daughter, and my parents' relationship with me is an aspect which I forever hope to have in my lifetime. Gam Ung Ba Mea. Although my parents were not fortunate enough to receive the opportunities that I have been given, they continuously pushed me to always strive to do my best academically and morally. Admittedly, my parents have never received their high school diploma, let alone even finishing grade school. Yet they strictly instilled in me the value of education. They taught me about the importance of education as it serves as an opportunity to better any circumstance one faces. After years of hard work and dedication, today will embark the beginning of a new chapter in my life, a story that my parents were not able to experience only because they were not given the chances to do so. Therefore, with the opportunities I was given, 
I will live that story for them and pursue a life they dreamed for me. As I walk across this stage today, I graduate to honor them, to honor and represent not only their legacy, but the millions of other first-generation students and immigrant parents who share the same story. Once more, thank you to my parents for giving me everything even when they had nothing. I will make use of the, these opportunities to guarantee my success in life. As a famous artist once said, everybody wanted to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. Thank you for your time, and again, congratulations to the class of 2023. I'm your salutatorian, Kayla Huang, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Good morning, Bria High School. There you go. Class of 2023, today I stand before you as the proud valedictorian honored to represent our graduating class. First and foremost, I want to extend a warm welcome to our Deputy Superintendent, Mr. Philip Davey, and our dedicated school board members, Ms. Davey Bush, Dr. Ann Presley, and Mr. Chuck Sailors, for the contributions to our great school. I also want to express our gratitude to the janitorial staff for their unwavering dedication to maintaining the appearance of our beloved school. And of course, a heartfelt thank you to our faculty members who have guided us on this incredible journey. All of our friends and families who are here joining us in the commemoration of the ceremony, we thank you. And to my incredible mother, whose love, care, and support made me who I am today. Damo mucho, mami. During my time as a student, I've had the privilege of attending various ceremonies and witnessing the achievements of my peers in scholarships and awards. It filled me with a sense of accomplishment and pride, only, not only for myself, but for them as well. My academics and per perseverance placed me among the top students in this school. However, I experienced a different feeling whenever I attended a ceremony, live in the moment, that gathered the valedictorians and salutatorians of Greenville County. A mix of frustration and regret filled me up. I saw other students with greater accomplishments in community service and extracurricular activities, and those who had even had success already in their careers as entrepreneurs or authors. Many of their achievements couldn't be contained in this simple sentence due to their lengthy and rich resume. Not unlike myself, my resume during the ceremony was simplified into a student who played soccer and merely a student who received his student as valedictorian. As such, all four difficult years I've had battling adversity as a first-generation Hispanic college student, a former, formerly homeless teenager, and a former drug addict, was all broken apart in a quick, full swoop in a few seconds of which was meant to celebrate these accomplished students. My idea of a bio mentality returned, and my identity became a self-deprecating image as a Hispanic who couldn't attain these heights because I was facing limited opportunities and facing difficult struggles. And as I speak, I know it's a very depressing speech for it being so early in the morning. I do apologize for that. But let me be clear, this is, not the, this is the same story to many of those who study here. All that I ask is that you do not, and I repeat, do not let this same idea enter your mind. These comparisons are not what defines us. We are not confined by the limitations, but rather given sources of strength and resilience. We will transcend beyond boundaries in the vile mentality. This cl class is beyond accomplished as I've been able to bear witness of my classmates. To those who have created businesses, providing community service to make a change in our community, and to those who are entering college in the workforce with a tenacious mindset. I know we will cripple the accomplishments of these other students, and with our mindset and adversity, we have to come overcome these struggles to become the CEOs, the successors of our future. At last, as we hold our diplomas in our hands, I urge each and every one of you to dedicate this journey and the diploma not only to yourselves, but to the teachers, families, and friends who have aided us in reaching this milestone. Without their unwavering support, we would not be standing here today. 
Thank you, Berea High School, for providing us with a nurturing environment to grow, learn, and thrive. To my fellow graduates, I'm immensely proud of all that we have accomplished. We all got that dog in us. Thank you. And a special thank you to both Kayla and Luis for the words that you have graced us with this morning. I also want to thank our special guests, Deputy Superintendent Mr. Philip Davey, members of the Greenville County School Board, Ms. Debbie Bush, Dr. Ann Presley, and Mr. Chuck Sailors, along with parents, guests, faculty, and most importantly, our senior class. Welcome again to the Berea High School Class of 2023 commencement. This class has been through a lot. Ending their freshman year e-learning, having to return in their sophomore year to this uneven schedule of every other day and having glass barriers put up in between desks and all the other things that came with uh, getting things back to normal as we possibly could. Came back your junior year, was a little bit more normal, but it really just wasn't the same. You're the last class of everyone that's in Berea High School now that actually had been through a pep rally before until this year. The normal activities as the year went on this year we had spirit week, a real spirit week. We had different activities in which everyone could participate without having barriers, wearing masks, or the other challenges that have faced you for the past four years and even beyond. You have developed a resilience that I don't think any other class can say that they have had to do. You're resilient to begin with because of the circumstances that were put in front of you, and yet you're here today. 221 graduates that are here because they withstood everything that was thrown at them. You know, you started this year, just to kind of give you a little bit more perspective on the journey that you've been on. You started this year with a senior sunrise. What happened? It was cloudy and foggy and you couldn't see the sun. Typical. Everything else that's been in front of you, but that didn't bother you. Y'all sat out there, you ate donuts, you enjoyed each other's company, you embraced one another knowing it was the last year that you were going to be able to spend time with one another. And throughout the year, or even the last couple years, you've endured a lot. But like a phoenix rising from the ashes of a dryer fire, you still remain resilient. And you're here today. You ended the year with the senior sunset. Started off cloudy, but as the evening wore on, the clouds started to dissipate, and there was the light. And there was this senior class coming through the clouds, ready to start your life journey after everything that you've been through. And it just shows how remarkable you are. And you are truly remarkable, every single one of you. And with all that, this class has earned $1.5 million in scholarships. 55 of you are finishing with career completer status, with 168 industry certifications. You've earned 47 college credits already through dual credit. 20 of you are going to the military, and all of you are ready for the next steps in the journey of your life. 
Through everything, you still remain resilient, stubborn, determined. Those are qualities that will help you overcome future obstacles. And again, despite the clouds, the smoke, everything else that's in front of you, doesn't matter because you are the sun behind the clouds. You will move forward and be successful. And I thank you for all you have done to be sitting here today. And at this time, I want to invite Allie Horvath and Emily Miguel Saron to please come and read a letter from the class of 2023 to our guest. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the graduation ceremony for Berea High School's class of 2023. I would like to read a letter on behalf of the graduates. Dear family and friends of the class of 2023, thank you for com coming to celebrate this special occasion. We have worked very hard for over the years for this honor, and we are excited to walk across the stage to receive our diplomas. The class of 2023 asks you to honor us by giving us our time in the spotlight as we receive our diplomas. Please do not yell, clap, or cheer when our names are called. You love us, we know this. You support us, we know this also. But when you interrupt the ceremony, regardless of your good intentions, you rob us from our special time. When you clap, all eyes in the arena turn to you when they should be on us. When you proudly cheer, everyone's attention is on you and not on us. We simply ask that you hold your applause until after all the names have been called and we are officially declared high school graduates. So you do not steal the spotlight from us on this brief yet monumental moment in our lives. We thank you so much for coming and we have done for our lives with love, the class of 2023. Señores y señoras, bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación para la clase 2023 de Berea High School. Me gustaría leer una carta en nombre de los estudiantes. Querida familia y amigos, gracias por venir a celebrar esta ocasión especial. Hemos trabajado muy duro para este honor y estamos emocionados de cruzar el escenario para recibir nuestros diplomas. Les pedimos que nos honre al darnos nuestro tiempo en recibir nuestros diplomas. Por favor, no griten o aplaudan cuando se llaman nuestros nombres. Nos aman, lo sabemos. Ustedes nos apoyan, esto también lo sabemos. Pero cuando interrumpe la ceremonia, independientemente de sus buenas intenciones, nos despojan la atención y nuestro tiempo especial. Si aplaude o grita, todos los ojos del público voltearán hacia usted cuando deberían estar sobre nosotros. Entonces les pedimos que mantengan su aplauso hasta que todos los nombres hayan sido declarados para que, nos robe, para que no nos roben el centro de atención durante este breve, breve pero especial momento de nuestras vidas. Muchas gracias por venir y por todo lo que han hecho por nosotros hasta este punto. Con amor, la clase del 2023. Well, it's early in the morning, and y'all been sitting there for a little while. Before we get started, I want to give everyone an opportunity to stand up, yell, and cheer as loud as you can for this class. Graduates, prepare to receive your credentials. Luis Alberto Gonzalez Gonzalez, summa cum laude. Kayla Huang, summa cum laude. 
Emily Subin Miguel Seron, magna cum laude. Ali Elizabeth Horvath, magna cum laude. Romina Lee Dotson, magna cum laude. Brooke Olivia Crew. Sherilyn Janelle Ramos. Jaden Louis Alexander. Scarlett Natalie Alvarado Montes. Katarina Elizabeth Antonio Francisco. Chinese Tierra Austin. Michael Balderas. Maria Maritza Baltasar Diego. Juana Baltasar Mateo. Sarah Elizabeth Banks. Brigida Araceli Bartolome Sebastian Cum Laude. Miguel Angel Bautista Santiago. Linda Grayson Marie Bishop, magna cum laude. Kendall Robinson Blakely. Bianca Milagro Borges Aguilar. Lauren Grace Bolick. Emily Elizabeth Bowling. Ronald Bonilla. Barahona, Eduardo Jose Boquín Díaz, Jason Kevin Borges Flores, Ansley Renee Boyce, cum laude, Dalton Blake Brookshire, Jalen Lloyd Cabanez, cum laude, Richard Dean Cannon, Jr. Curlin Yaneli Cantillano Vargas. Alexis Manuel Cantoral Hernandez. Troy Sintel Capers, Jr. Jamari Demardrick Carrington. George Douglas Carter IV, Jackson Lewis Carter, Jaden Lane Carver III, Oscar Luis Cascante Abarca, Tomas Alfredo Castillo, Tanitza Nayeli Cayo Mestanza, Jarviana Tromia Chambers, Josue Gomez Condado, Esli Cortez Ortiz, Abigail Grace Costin, Tefaya My Angel Crew, Gael Cruz del Valle, Daisy Lisette Cruz Ramirez, Jemias Marion Dobbins, Angela Itzel Dominguez Cordero, Davis Armando Donis Donis, Aaron John Donley, Alize Renee Michelle Durham, Christian Tracy Eeks. Serenity Michaela Ellerby, Brandon Robert Elrod, Anthony Alexander Enamorado Flores, Angel Michelle Epps Crumpler, Julio Jeremias Esteban, Jose Falcón. Elise Nicole Falk, Marcial Ernesto Figueroa Panegas, 
Andy Daniel Flores Lima, Alex Francisco, Maria Andres Francisco, Sebastián Francisco, Estefanía Abigail Fuentes Rivas, Kevan Sekavia Fuller, Anaí Francisca Galindo Beltrán, Guillermo Gallegos Juárez, Leslie Tamara García, Dominic Manuel Garza, Emma Emanuela Gibolovi, Jaden Ruth Gibbs, Brian Daniel Gomez Balón, Clarice Patricia Gonzalez Mendoza, magna cum laude. Generosity, Nyla Goodjoy. Alexis Kimberly Gosnell, magna cum laude. Tajier Javon Germain Graham. Andrea Granados Cabezas. Olivia Trenise Grayson. Joel Alejandro Guillen, Autumn Elizabeth Guignard, Jordi Josue Guzman Velasquez, Tamiria Jean Hawkins, Antonia Sierra Hayes, Kamaya Alexis Henderson, Francisco Hernandez Nicolás, Carlos Andrews Hernandez Dorantes, Irvin Alejandro Hernandez Maus, Cristian Ariel Herrera Villeda, Adam Hilario Aguilar, Samora Rain Hiles, Jeremiah Diamante Hill, Cloven Isaiah Phillips Holcomb. Nathaniel Levi Hudgens, Ismael Huerta, Jr., Shantasia Antriona Hughes, Sharante Antonio Hughes, Summer Kiona Hunt, Genesis Nazaret Inestrosa Romero, Alexia Brianna Irby, James Marvelous Irby Jr. Jaquarius Lee Jackson. Kishana Alane James, cum laude. Jose Angel Gijon Diaz, cum laude. Maria Isabel Jose. Ana Jimena Juan Manuel. Priscila Iliana Juarez. Jordan Lavelle Kane, Kinsley Abigail Kendall, Kevin Alexis Lara Ramos, Andrea Hidalgo Larios, Arlette Hidalgo Larios, Ashlyn Heidi Larios, Margie Gisela Lasso Bonilla, Mariana Skyasia Lemon, Jordan Elizabeth Leslie, Morgan Haley Lewis, Connor Matthew Lindsay, Johan Lobo Antunes, Gabriela Rubí Lopez Castillo, Paola Cristina Magana, Ivan Eduardo Maldonado, Juana Florecita Marcos Mateo, Santiago Marín Ochoa, Alicia Martin Thomas, Tomás, Daniel Armando Martínez, Gabriel Alexander Mason, 
Tamaziana Sky Messi, Maria Jose Matute, Tayasia Anaya McBride, Abigail Bray McGee, Ivan Medina, Jessica Medina, Paulina Medina, Eileen Yamilet Medrano Ruiz, Nadia Elise Mejia, Oscar Javier Mejia, Jara Nicole Mejia Solano, Antonio Jesus Melendez Welch, Emily Yolani Mendoza, Michael Miguel, Miguel Angel Miguel Juan, Michael Deshaun Miller, Serena Nicole Mitchell, Nelson Javier Monje Orellana, Samuel Omar Montalvan, Daniel Montejo Dominguez, Leila Barinia Montiel, Caleb Isaiah Moore, cum laude, Exen Fabricio Murillo Carranza, Gabriela Lisette Navarrete Colchado, Jameson Leroy Nice, cum laude, Anna Jade Wynn, Gina Adriana Nicolás Pascual, Avina Puntevi Onsi, cum laude, Edwin Orozco Islas, Maria Cristel Ortiz Hernández, Robert Padilla, Reina Samantha Perez Álvarez, Jimmy Ruby Fan, magna cum laude, Tyler Jacoby Pigney, Edgar Eduardo Quevedo Sánchez, Brian Quesada Rojas, Soren Rainey, Mauricio Ramírez, Jeffrey Ramírez Bu, Lily Anna Reese Cum Laude, Lisette Rivera Ministro, Melissa Robledo, Maria Guadalupe Rodriguez Silva, Cum Laude, James Allen Rogers, Leti Juvit Rosales Villeda, Nicobi Ross, Edith Andrea Ruiz Celaya, Brianna Kenesha Russ, Aiden Lynn Sagulan, Timothy Michael Saldana, Anthony Alejandro Sanabria, Juan Arturo Sanchez Ramirez, Christopher Dylan Sanders, Sean Patrick Searchfield, Derek LaShawn Seawright Jr., Marvin Mateo Sebastian, Tomas Sebastian Diego, Nelson Misael Sekin Morataya, Brody Don Felipe Sexton Jr., Brianna Simone Simpson, Trejan Henry Simpson, Elijah Rashad Sidden, India Shamariah Smith, Jaquavion Billy DeAndre Smith, Levi Selton Smith, Sanaya Ayana Smith.
Sanaya Ayana Smith, Chelsea Snotty, Karen Lynn Snow, Dakota Christopher Spataro, Michaela Janiel Strahl, Tiasia Ariana Strickland, Elijah Dion Sullivan, Jacob Lawson Tisdale, Life Alexandria Tolbert, Miguel Tomas Diego, Kayla Marche Townsend, Desmond Deshawn Twyman, Belinda Valdovinos Bedoya, Lisette Onelia Vaquera Reyes, May Vasquez Avila, Luis Ricardo Vasquez Vasquez, Carla Gelian Vélez Campos, <clears throat> Cole Joseph Clark Wagner, Haley Madison Waldrop, Joel Flavo Wallace, magna cum laude, Samantha Danielle Watson, magna cum laude, Randy Devon Whitehurst, Sebastian Joseph Williams, Zakara Latrinity Williams, Ana Maria Zacaria, cum laude, Ariana Betsabet Zapata Ramirez, Alamdra Judith Zelaya. It's been a real privilege to be with you today to celebrate these special young people. Will the graduating class of 2023 please stand? You have completed the requirements for a high school diploma as prescribed by the State Department of Education. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees for the School District of Greenville County, I now declare you 2023 graduates of Berea High School. You may move your tassels. Congratulations. <laughs> 